Well, it seems unthinkable, absent-mindedly leaving a child behind. But, truth be told, many parents do it and now it has a name, Forgotten Baby Syndrome, with all its potentially deadly consequences. We're joined now via Skype by neuroscientist David Diamond. Good morning to you. Good morning. David, can you tell us about Forgotten Baby Syndrome and, and how, how you actually define it? Well, Forgotten Baby Syndrome is our attempt to try to understand how it is that normal, attentive and loving parents forget that their children are in the car with them. So they arrive at their destination and they've completely lost awareness that the child is in the car. So they exit the car, leaving the child in it, car heats up and then the child dies of heat stroke. How common is it for a parent to forget they've got a baby in the back? Well, actually, there's a, a survey was conducted in the U.S. of a large number of parents, and it's remarkable that 25% of the parents who had children under three reported that they actually forgotten that their children were in the car at some time during the drive. We saw a case in the U.S. recently um, where a man left his child all day, um, and now he's on up on murder charges. There's a really wide range between somebody accidentally doing it and somebody doing it with intent. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people watching right now would be concerned at something like this getting uh, the tag of syndrome because it may reduce culpability. Yeah, at this point, we don't really know if that case you're referring to in Atlanta, that there was intent. There's every reason to believe that that father actually did forget that his child was in the car. How, how do you know though? I mean, how do you test something like that? Well, it's actually up to the authorities to try to figure out if there was intent or not. My role as a scientist is to assume that this is a memory issue and to try to understand what are the conditions that contribute to someone forgetting that and, a child is in the car. And what are those conditions? Well, what I found is a, a very consistent pattern. And we actually have hundreds of these cases now worldwide in which parents have forgotten children. And there's a very consistent aspect is that, well, first of all, because when you have a young child, you tend to be sleep deprived and you get very stressed. And we know that there's a part of the brain that reminds us of new information. And that part of the brain called the hippocampus is actually impaired when we're sleep deprived and when we're stressed. And we need the hippocampus to tell us about this new information. The new information is that on this drive today, my child is in the car. And although that may sound trivial, the constant factor, the common thread to all these forgotten children is that the parent is involved in some kind of habitual drive that typically does not include the child. And so we have a part of the brain called the basal ganglia that actually allows us to do things without thinking about it. And it actually suppresses other parts of the brain. So we go through our drive, in a sense, not having to think about where's the gas, where's the brake. Okay? This part of the brain allows us to do that automatically. And, and so you have this competition between brain memory systems. And, and it's this habit memory system seems to suppress the fact-based memory system. Okay, and it's not just leaving a child in a car. As one parent um, myself who has on a couple of occasions when my kids were little, I went home from work and completely forgot that they were at childcare. Well, exactly. That's one example. Another one that's related to this, actually, and we think about competing brain memory systems, is that as you're driving home, you intend to stop at the store. And then what happens? You drive right past the store and you end up going home and you don't have your groceries. Now, the important factor here is you actually have competing memory systems. You have one memory system that wants to remind you to interrupt your drive to go to the store. You have another brain memory system that takes you straight from work to get to home. And what you find consistently in these cases is the awareness of the child in the car seems to be suppressed. And yes, consistently, these parents spend an entire day at work. In fact, they talk about their children. They talk about how important it is for them to pick the child up at daycare. And they've completely lost awareness that the child is in the car. Yeah, with uh, parents never being busy, you can certainly understand how it happens. David Diamond, fascinating to get your insight this morning. Thanks for your time.
Thank you.